Good morning, Good morning Eastern, Eastern stars. stars. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. I'm Reagan. I'm Mr. Cooper. I'm Emma. And we have... And I'm Jasper. Hey, Jasper. Um, we You missed out on our get to know you question, so it was just pretty basic, right? What's your favorite color? Red. Red. All right. Now we know something about Jasper. Jasper, what's for lunch today? First choice, popcorn chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Second choice was some butter and jelly with cheese stick and cheese its We have one birthday today. Happy birthday to Mrs. Ross. We, ho we hope you have a super duper spectacular birthday. <laughs> All right. That was good. I can't top that. <laughs> The weather today will be cloudy with a high of 35 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. Right. Special announcements, Jasper. This Friday is movie night at Eastern. Hopefully you are planning on coming to watch the Polar Express. Wear your pajamas, bring blankets and pillows, stuffed animals, whatever you like for watching movies. There will also be concessions and crafts in the cafeteria. Hopefully we will see you there. The door decoration contest concludes this Friday. Student council will judge the doors and the winners will be announced on Monday. Caden from Mrs. Fax class would like to give a shout out to Victoria for picking up the scraps off the floor. Ian from Mrs. Laveris class would like to say thank you to Becca and Isley for helping him out with lunch count. I must say. Oh, Mrs. Annalyn would like to give a shout out to Danica for helping her with the door fisco? fiasco. Fiasco yesterday. So apparently there was some fiasco door problem in Mrs. Annalyn's room and Danica helped out. All right, so yesterday we had a riddle from Emma, mm -hmm. which was? Uh, three different doctors said that Paul's their brother, yet Paul claims he has no brothers. Who is lying? And we got a, an answer from Emmett in Mrs. Fax class. Wrote this down. And what did Emmett say? Um, Emmett said that they might be girls, like the doctors might be girls. So what does that mean? Like, um, explain that. It, um, I think what they're getting at there is in the, um, in the question, it says that three different doctors said that Paul is their brother, yet Paul claims he has no brothers. But Paul never claimed that he didn't have any sisters. Uh, so the true answer is? Um, no one is lying because the three doctors are Paul's sisters. All right. So nice job. That was a, that was a tricky one. And uh, now Reagan came up with a little quick riddle, right? What fish costs more than most? Uh, what fish costs more than most? A goldfish. Of obviously. course, yes, a fish made of gold, a goldfish. All right, well, um, before we send you off, we have a couple of interesting things that were given to me to show you from some students in this building. So this is from uh, Leland. Leland and his friend Alden came uh, to my classroom from Mrs. Edwardson's class to show this bird's nest that Leland found. He thinks that it's an old robin's nest. So this is a really interesting and cool thing to show. And there's another very interesting piece. This, look at these things. These, this is from Kieran in Mrs. Schembarger's class. And I don't know if you've ever seen these before. It looks like a banana, doesn't it? That's not, what I said. Not yeah, the I one that it. you'd want to eat. See how skinny that is? No, not a banana. Otherwise, I think this would be smelling really bad at this point if it were a banana. It's not, though. Uh, uh, let's see. Kieran told me that this is a locust seed pod found here in TC around the commons. So another very interesting thing to show. Thank you so much, guys, for providing us some interesting ideas on the announcements. I do, we should just check in real quick on what's going on back here. Right, Araya? Because look who's getting a bath. Reptar. Good morning, Reptar. Don't want to intrude on his morning bath too much, but just wanted to pop in and say hi. All right, guys. Let's send them off. That's all for today. Remember to be safe, trustful, attentive, and respectful.
be a star. Okay. Whoa. All right. Let's. We're gonna try that again. Actually. So we're gonna make sure we say all the words correctly. Remember to be safe, trustworthy, attentive, and respectful. Be a star. Have a weird and wacky Wednesday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. That was better.